Hey everyone and welcome to Night at the Improv. Night at the Improv shows every Saturday night 10 p.m. Eastern Time. It's the show where you direct my design and after spinning our word for tonight is carousel given to us by Barbie G222. Thank you so much Barbie for our word for tonight carousel. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word and I'll add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next episode, your word will be chosen. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. And for my new viewers, please consider subscribing, share, hit that like button, leave a comment below, and click on that notification bell for future videos. So anytime I get a number higher than three, um, it ends up getting a little complicated for me. I don't like to think about the background color. If I could, I would just make all three nails the same color. So I was like, all right, let's do that. So I'm using, um, one color for all three nails, but to fulfill the five, uh, different color background I'm going to be using more than five I have uh, laid out here seven colors and um, they're like pastel -y rainbow colors and I'm just gonna use that over some blooming gel to create some marbling um, the whole idea of carousel is you know carnivalesque um, lights and colors everything's flashy so I thought it would be really cute to have this nice pretty um, pastel background and have a bunch of these pastel -y rainbow colors all over it. So I'm just going to take some of each color and I'm just going to wiggle that down the nail and it's already um, making some really pretty um, lines. This blooming gel is by Varnail. So um, I do like uh, that Blooming Gel. There are other brands that I like as well, um, but this uh, definitely works out when I'm trying to, you know, do marble or have anything feather out like that. So um, I thought, should I mix the colors and marble it on the palette, pick it up like I normally do? Or do I just do this individually? Um, I wanted to do it individually because I wanted um, each color to kind of represent itself. So I'm going around the edges and I'm doing each color. We have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple representing the rainbow colors. So again, like I said, I'm doing the same thing on the rest of the couple nails. So it's complicated, but at least it's the same design on each nail. That way I don't have to worry about working in five colors and making each one individual. This will kind of tie up the whole design anyway. You always want to have something that kind of is similar to each other, especially if you're making a set. Comment below. Let me know what you think of the marbling or if you've done something like this. And after spinning, our first required decoration for the night is going to be French stickers. And uh, believe me, if I didn't have such a crazy mind, I wouldn't have thought of this. Um, at first, I thought I'd use a, a regular, like a typical French sticker to uh, do the base of the carousel. But I actually have different kinds and I challenged myself a little bit. So I've got this like kind of V-shaped French sticker. And then I didn't use the, um, did I use, well, let's talk about this first. Um, and then I used this like two hump kind of French sticker um, to make the uh, skirt of the top of the carousel. So what we're gonna do 
we're doing a partial carousel it's the top of it it always had it looks like a 10 and it always has uh, pretty colors and the rim or the skirt or whatever you want to call it always has some really um, fun or fancy uh, design all the way around so I'm going to try doing something like that and I kind of thought that this ended up being um, a really uh, impressive solution to my predicament because <laughs> I really didn't know like how I was going to use the French sticker other than lining out the base of the carousel which just seems so simple but um, I started using the detail brush thinking that I can do the stripes on it and then cure but then I was thinking well if I start doing other colors it's going to bleed into each other so I'm just making the whole thing white and I'm just going to peel away my French sticker and this is like always my favorite part um, I just uh, cleaned up the lines after I removed these off camera but um, typically uh, some of that gel polish will go under the sticker because usually these stickers they're not super adhesive and they're made out of paper so gel will seep through um, underneath the French sticker but anyway, so after I clean that up, I cured it, and then I'm going to do a typical carousel that you see in a carnival. So red and white stripes, very simple, very easy, um, but I wanted to do the skirt or the, the trim around the carousel top to be very ornate and uh, beautiful. It kind of reminds me of all of the carousels that I've been to like I see photos of just the top just hanging uh, like a few inches over and it's the same fabric this one is gonna have what I've always seen which is this like you know uh, filigree uh, freeze style trim Sometimes there's pictures of horses inside. I mean, clearly I'm not doing anything inside of here. I wanted to use my uh, Varnell Opal uh, paint gels that I love so much that I hardly get to use. So after I did that, I'm using some glitter liner to do my filigree. Um, I was just playing around with this. I really, you're not going to see all the detailing, but what I wanted to, um, mimic is, like I said, the detail work around the trim that I see in the carnivals, uh, the, the carousels that I've been to. And from far away, or even up close, like it does look like those ornate freezes that the, uh, carousels have. So I was like, oh, it worked out. The only thing is there's usually a picture in the middle of these and um, I didn't know what to put and I didn't really want to mess up the opal to be honest because again I love these opals it's sold out it's been sold out on Varnell for quite some time so I don't think you can get it as a set there may be a few that you can get individually maybe I'm not sure but um, I hardly get to use these opals and I'm always happy to whip it out but yeah, just more detailing with some cat's eye gel. Um, I just wanted it to pop out a little bit. There's kind of like a color scheme going on in each one, and I picked out certain ones and uh, I tried to use the one uh, the colors that I picked out. It didn't work for every single one, but... If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out, and I greatly appreciate your support. And after our next spin, our second required decoration for the night is going to be caviar beads. And this one I was fine with because, uh, like I said, the carousels that I've been on, they're just so ornate. So I knew that I was going to be able to fit those in. Um, coming into this, I was like, yeah, carousel, easy. And I'm like, when I got to drawing it, I'm like, this is going to be a nightmare because not only do you have to draw the simple shapes of the top and the bottom, but you also have to draw 
the the actual horses and the carousel. I was like, how the heck am I going to do this? This is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> so I just focused on the carousel at the moment. This was by far the easiest part to, to do, but this whole thing I thought would be easy. It was really hard to think up. Um, I uh, decided to do a color scheme for this one. The last nail we just did, red and white. This time I picked four colors to work with. Um, I chose the silver paint gel to outline to kind of complement the four colors. Um, I try to like, it just seems like all these colors are nice and soft. I didn't want to use black to, um, it's such a bold color. I didn't want it to outshine the watercolor in the background. These pretty color schemes I'm using for the carousel. So the top part was easy to, to come up with, but then I'm thinking, all right, now that I'm going to be working on these horses, there's no way I'm going to be able able to draw a microscopic horse. I mean, I'm good, but not that good. So I was like, well, I can fake it. I'm really good at faking tiny stuff that need to look like something. So, <laughs> but I was like, what colors I'm going to use? I said, you know, obviously I have to use one of the four that I used for the top to make it match. So I said, okay, let's just make each horse, you know, one of the colors. Obviously you won't see the fourth horse because it's all the way in the back. But then I was like, how do I draw this horse? So I'm kind of just blobbing up this pole here <laughs> with each color and kind of making it the silhouette of a horse. And it kind of worked out. So um, it's all right, I think. Um, I could have detailed up this with the black, but I really didn't want to. I mean, it's kind of the idea of the carousel. Uh, for this, um, the three nails that we're doing today. So at this point, I'm top coating. I honestly was like, I'm done. I actually took a break and I'm like, oh, wait a minute. I'm not done. I have to do the caviar beads. Like, what? <laughs> I was so happy that this one went by so fast. And I was like, wait a minute. Um, I didn't actually do the required decoration. So here I am back in, I already top coat, which is kind of like, um, not my, I don't, I like to do the glue and the top coat before I cure with the caviar beads. So I was like, all right, well, let's just use my strongest glue. It's Jenny's secret. I talk about it all the time. It's very strong and the viscosity is super thick. So, um, those caviar beads will not be moving. You won't be chasing them around everywhere. I hate that. Um, but I am lining the, the base up with the medium sized um, caviar beads. And I have four different sizes. So I figured um, let's just use different sizes so that it, it's more of an interesting design. When things are very similar, it just tends to get boring um, plus it could chop up your look like some places don't need this size caviar bead some places are going to need smaller ones some places are going to need larger ones so here around the top the the rim of the top i wanted to create the ornate skirt and i'm going to use these smaller caviar beads you can see how micro these are i love caviar beads i hate having to use them but i like that i have them because they are uh four different sizes and they look so insane like i i don't know these are just so tiny um i probably should use them more um as much as i feel about them but it is daunting like it's tough work to do especially you know even with a good glue um it's still hard to um do the formations um, of these caviar beads and sometimes you have to pick them up one by one I mean, it's not a, a walk in the park and like I said, I this nail took me a short amount of time Until I realized I didn't do the caviar beads and then it ended up being Was it the longest this might end? No, I feel like the glitter. Oh Well, I just spoiler alert, but anyway, I feel like the last nail took longer, but this took a decent amount of time um, editing wise, uh, you can see that this section I think is longer than the other two. 
but I love how the smaller um, caviar beads are working um, in this uh, design right now because you can tell the difference between the two sizes. So it gives it a different kind of life to it. Um, and after I finish these micro beads, I am going to put just one more and I'm going to use the largest size I have and I'm going to put it to the, um, I think it's called the spire. I mean, I think it's called the spire for like a building top, you know, those little pointy things. Um, but this is like a carousel, so I don't know what it's called, but you know, the pointy thing. Maybe the spire. I don't know. I don't even know if that's even the right word. Spire. Oh, you don't use it, you lose it. But anyway, so yeah, I'm using this large one. You can see here. It's so always. It's always hard to pick up. And then obviously they're all sticking together because of the static cling. But if you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out, and I greatly appreciate your support. And after our last spin, our third and final required decoration for the night is going to be glitters. This one was good. Um, this might have been kind of one of my ideas when I was first thinking about it. But I figured for this nail, I'm just going to glitter the crap out of it. <laughs> so uh, the problem was I didn't know how to start it. I didn't know what part of the carousel I wanted to do. All I know is that I wanted like maybe 80 or 90 percent of this nail to be covered in glitter. So what I decided to do is do a close-up of a small carousel and so the base of the nail is going to be the topper. Um, close-up, you're not going to even see the whole topper. Here I'm drawing like the central cylinder tube and then um, the tip is going to have the base. So now I'm going to have to draw up the horse. Again, I am good but not that good so I am just faking this horse right now. Um, when it comes to smaller uh, art, sometimes it's okay, at least in my book or in my opinion, that it doesn't have to be exact, it could be a blob, it could be, it's the, um, it's the assumption of what the object is. So I think at a, a first glance you might be what, but at the same time you might be, oh, okay, that's a horse. I don't know, who knows. But anyway, now I'm just going to doll up everything by glittering everything out. The horse is already um, a mermaid glitter that I got from Varnail, and I love the Mermaid Collection. The Mermaid Collection you can still get. Um, I actually got two more in one of my mystery boxes, and um, since I already have the whole set, um, I'm gifting it to the uh, mini giveaway winner, and I'm really happy about that. Some of the items, like, ooh, I thought were so pretty that I'm really excited that um, the winner will be able to receive what I really think is beautiful. But anyway, so I am using some baby pink uh, fine sugar I got off of Amazon. It came in like a 12 pack or 16 pack. I can't remember, but it has all these pretty colors and they're all like um, a hint of the color mixed in with some white. And they're super fine. They're mixed in with some iridescence and some like white kind of. So it looks like a snowy sugaring. Um, so I'm using that. And, you know, I really thought about using a cat's eye gel uh, background color for the topper. And I said, one, it's so that it covers the background. The background is so strong that I thought that it wouldn't look pink anymore. So honestly, I thought, no, I'm going to sugar it. It's going to cover it. It'll be fine. And as you can see, I am covering with this baby pink, super fine um, glitter. 
that you can totally 1000% see the background and I'm so kind of upset about it. I really should have put a pink because as I'm doing this right now, I'm like, I can't continue with this baby pink because it's not looking pink anymore. It's looking like the background. So I have to use a darker pink and all the other carousels had like, you know, either alternating or different colors for each section on the, on the roof that I said, okay, well, how bad would it be if I just pick a different pink letter to kind of, you know, steer away from the background that is poking through the baby pink. So here I've actually got a darker pink look, and uh, this was actually a giveaway win from um, Sandra's Sparkly Sets that I think I used maybe one other time ever. I don't, that might not be right though, because I got a bunch of glitter, glitters from her, and I'm not too sure if this was one of them that I was using. But I was really glad that I um, was using this, because I hardly get to use them. But it definitely makes the difference on this topper, alternating the pink with the baby pink. Um, and I'm just, I'm kind of kicking myself. I really should have, I would have been happier doing the cat's eye pink background and then the sugaring on top to make it look pink. I wanted, I didn't want it to be as bold as the sugar, that, um, this glitter that I'm putting on now. But, it, you know, I was really going for the pink look, which is insane because, you know, I, I mention all the time I'm not even a fan of, of pink. But um, it's not like I, I hate it. You know, I just would not choose it. But I think for this design, I definitely was driven by the pink. Um, and I'm just disappointed that I didn't do the right background color. But I fulfilled my requirement. And it's almost the end of this, uh, you know, design making here. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but just adding the pole, the extra poles for the other horses. And no, I didn't do the horses. Sometimes it's just the pole and you stand up. This is a tinier carousel. If you're watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. Go ahead and click that like button. It really helps my channel out and I greatly appreciate your support. And here is the end result for our word for tonight, carousel, given to us by Barbie G222. Thank you so much, Barbie, for our word for tonight, carousel. If you would like to direct me to do a design, leave a comment below your word and I'll add it to the spinner. And who knows, maybe next episode, your word will be chosen. And here is our glitter nail. And I guess it's all right. I should have done, a, it shouldn't have been too close. Maybe I should have zoomed, zoomed out a little bit on the nail so you can actually see the carousel part. But I'm really disappointed. The darker pink um, helped cover the background, but I should have really just used a background color for that sugaring. Here is my caviar bead nail, and I love it. This might be a tie for my favorite with the last nail, but um, I love the different caviar bead sizes. It's really cute. The color scheme is so cute. I mean, this would be nice on a wall for like a, child, a child's room. And look, my hair, it's just everywhere. It's long. It, I cut my hair, but it's still long. So I can see my hair floating around like stinking antenna. How embarrassing. Anyway. And here is the last nail, the French uh, sticker nail. I love the, the trim around it. It's probably my favorite part. And the spire on this has the cat's eye bulb on it. Really nice. Well, thank you so much for joining me at Night at the Improv every Saturday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Isms by Josie. Please share, like, and subscribe for future videos. I will be sharing a re-unboxing of the PR that I received. And then I'm also going to be doing some really cute crochet Halloween kit unboxings this week. And then Thisday, I have my worldly Josieisms. And I have my live at 5 on Friday. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye.